Let's solve this question involving trigonometry and SADs. Express the following in SAD, hence rationalize the denominator. 2 tangent of 45 degrees divided by sine of 30 plus cosine of 45 degrees. Now to solve this question, you require to have two triangles. Two triangles. The first triangle is an isosceles right angled triangle and the second triangle is an equilateral triangle measuring two units or the sides so we start the first triangle that is uh, an isosceles right angled triangle let me draw it here so an isosceles right angled triangle is here so it is a uh, right angle that point then the measurements one one this will be root of two using Pythagoras theorem so 45 degrees will be here the two angles measuring 45 degrees and the other 45 degrees will be there so this is where we shall get tangent of 45 and uh, cosine of 45 the other triangle that you need is uh, an isosceles not an isosceles but equilateral an equilateral triangle an equilateral triangle with uh, measurements of two units on each side and you know in an equilateral triangle all the angles measure 60 degrees then not get that we shall draw perpendicular from this point and uh, that perpendicular will bisect that perpendicular will bisect this uh, line and form a, uh, it will form a right angle at that point so if this side the base is two and this line is bisected this one will have one this one will have one now uh, the whole of this angle is 60 so this angle is bisected it will be 30 degrees and this one will be 30 degrees this remains to be 60 degrees and this one 60 degrees so you can see we formed a two right angle triangle and this is what you're going to use the trigonometric ratios uh, with these two right angle triangles they'll be very helpful in giving us either the sine cosine or tangent of 60 degrees or 30 degrees the height using Pythagoras theorem you get the height as uh, root of three so these are the two triangles that we use to get the trigonometric ratios of these special angles 45 degrees 30 degrees and 60 degrees now we go to tangent of 45 so tangent of 45 will be obtained from the first uh, triangle here tangent of 45 how do you get tangent uh, by taking the opposite side divide by adjacent considering these two angles the opposite side is one the adjacent is one so tangent of 45 will be one divided by one which is one then cosine of uh, 45 degrees uh, how do you get cosine by taking the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse considering any of these two angles adjacent side is going to be one then the hypotenuse is root of two we can leave it like that or we can rationalize this one over root two by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by root of two and this will give um, root of two divided by root of two times root of two will give two so we can leave it like that root of two divided by two then the other one is uh, sine of 30 sine of 30 will be obtained from this triangle sine of 30 degrees so how do you get sine by taking the opposite now consider any of these two angles measuring 30 and uh, consider those right angle triangle uh, opposite side is one in both then the hypotenuse is two so sine of 30 from this uh, is given by a half now we have everything that we need tan of 45 is there cosine of 45 is there and sine of 30 is there Simple. now we just Simple. need to substitute in our Simple. question uh, 2 tangent of 45 2 tangent of 45 will be 2 multiplied by 1 because tangent of 45 we got it as 1 uh, then uh, for the denominator we have sine of 30 is a half so sine of 30 is a half then plus cosine of 45 is uh, root 2 divided by 2 so this will simplify 2 
the numerator will be given by 2 then the denominator a half plus root of 2 divided by 2 now this is the point now where we need to rationalize the denominator and how do you rationalize the denominator by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator so what is the conjugate of the denominator the conjugate of the denominator is 1 over 2 minus root 2 over 2. The conjugate is just the same value. The only thing that we change is uh, the sign between. So if it is positive, its conjugate will be negative. If it is negative, its conjugate will be positive. All the other values remain the same. So we multiply both the numerator the numerator should be multiplied by that conjugate which is uh, a half minus root 2 divided by 2 now from here we can simplify numerator 2 times a half is 1 then minus 2 times root 2 over 2 will be root 2 then for the denominator that is quite easy. It is difference of two squares. And how do you treat difference of two squares? Recall that if you have a plus b uh, multiplied by a minus b, this is what you call difference of two squares. This one simplifies to what? When you expand, you get a squared minus b squared. So in this case, you'll take a half as uh, a and then root 2 over 2 as b. So you can see we are forming difference of two squares. And this is what is going to give a squared minus b squared. So in our case, um, since a is a half, this will be a half squared. Then minus uh, b is root 2 divided by 2 squared. As simple as that. So you just need to recall these. Eh? These are difference of two squares. Just recall this. This is the most important thing here when you're simplifying that. Um, for the numerator, 1 minus root 2 divided by half squared will give a quarter then uh, root of 2 divided by 2 squared will give um, half and um, this will give 1 minus root 2 divided by a quarter minus a half will be negative a quarter now to simplify this uh, we need just need to eliminate the denominator by multiplying by the reciprocal of negative 1 over 4 so we multiply here by negative 4 uh, we multiply here by negative 4 each term this one by negative 4 and this will give 1 times negative 4 will give negative 4 then um, root 2 times negative 4 will give negative 4 root 2 and since there's another negative here this will be positive 4 root of 2 like that uh, negative 4 times root 2 will give negative 4 root 2 then everything divided by 1 a quarter times negative 4 and that is the simplified Simple. Simple. answer that is how you're supposed Simple. to solve that question thank you